All right, welcome to race report part one of race one, which was today. Um, the distances were 300 meter swim, 5.4 kilometer bike, and a 1.45 kilometer run. Um, 340, 948, 505 roughly. Felt pretty good in the swim. I actually didn't get a swim warm up. My bike felt really good. I got a solid bike warm up. And my run, my legs were dead. I've had really bad run sessions the last couple of weeks since recovering after death. But yeah, I just, I, I felt good for the first 500 and then <laughs> legs fell off, fell off me. So what that does, um, there was two qualifiers today. I was in qualifier one. So I've qualified for the B final and will be the fifth person off. So over that short of a distance, it's gonna be super critical to the front guys. Luckily I'm fifth person off because I ended up just just having a shit run and not really putting the effort in because it was I just blew up and felt like throwing up at about 400. So yeah, that's gonna be super beneficial for me being one of the first guys off, only 27 seconds behind the leader. Plenty of time between me and the rest of the pack. I, I can see it going pretty well. And then two hours later, uh, we're backing it back up for an all-in start um, as the B final. So just the B final all start. I think there's 18 of us, if I'm guesstimating correctly. Um, so that'll be super good. I wasn't too far behind most of the swimmers in this B final looking at times. Uh, so that'll be good to be able to get in the good bike pack. Hopefully have fresh legs, avoid any silliness out there, get off the run and run super well. But So the lead up for the race today hasn't been the best. Um, after Malulaba, I had two weeks before racing again. I had the Monday off, easy day Tuesday. Wednesday, I bonked hard on my run. I had seven, eight hundreds. I hit the wall in the fifth and the sixth rep was I couldn't hold pace on my run, so I was like calling it quits there. But went out on the bike and ran really well. And I was like, all right, sweet, okay. Um, my, my Thursday brick session, I called the pin on it that morning because it's just after, it was, it was raining and I did a little calf test and my calf was really tight. So I've had a bit of a soleus and Achilles tendon tightness lately. Been dealing and managing with it I feel like I'm on top of it at the moment. I've been doing really great techniques, thanks to Joey and Brett, um, doing all my, looking after my body for me, uh, as well as Tracy and P3, obviously helping me recover from everything. So it'll be interesting to see how I'm able to back up with my calf and then put in a solid four weeks after this race. But, and then the, the week, the last seven days leading up to the race, I've done next to nothing. Monday, I just swam and gym. So that was, that was actually a pretty good day. Tuesday, I got a good swim session in. I actually felt quite solid. I rode for six minutes and ran for six minutes. <laughs> I just had four heel reps of both of them. My, my heel reps on the run were actually really good, but my calf was really tight for the easy bit leading up to it. The bike heel reps were really good as well. So it was a quality session in six minutes. Then Wednesday, I went for four one kilometer efforts. Uh, first one, really good. Second one hurt a lot and couldn't hold the pace. So I decided to drop it back to an 800 for the third rep and couldn't even hold pace at up to the 400 meter time. So I, I pulled the pin, there was no, because it is a paced session, it's not about me putting in a certain effort, it's about me holding pace. So that's what the session is and if I can't hold the pace, pull the pin, try and recover, back up again tomorrow for tomorrow's session. So that's how I work my Wednesday morning run. Um, got onto the bike though and actually probably rode the strongest I've ever ridden. Maybe. Well, definitely the strongest I've ridden in the last few months, that's for sure. So my bike's going really well. My swimming's going pretty well, but my run is really suffering. I think it's because I've put on a couple kgs since I was in peak form and dropped my sub-16 5k. Um, I was 67, 68 kilos around then. I'm now sitting 69 to 70 kilos. I think it's honestly just that and the bit of fitness I've lost from time in hospital and dying that has affected my running ability. Hopefully that's all. And hopefully in four weeks when I come straight back to Byron, I think is first. I'm in peak, peak form and can drop a 34, 33 if I need to, 10K 
at the end of an Olympic race. Uh, so lead up, lead up this morning for the race was, all I did was sleep in till like quarter past nine, nine thirty. Woke up, did some yoga with Mickey. Had really good smoothie bowl. Cleaned my bike after riding in all the shocking weather on the last day of the road, Wednesday. <laughs> um, yeah, just prepped everything, got ready, headed down there. Got there, did a couple laps of the bike course just to get really familiar with the corners and everything so I could just go full steam at him. Felt pretty good. It was actually really hot. I went through, did all my run-throughs, um, my altitude simulation, preparation, run-through drills. Didn't bother doing an actual run warm-up. It was, it was just over a kilometer of all the altitude simulation, preparation, and run drills. So I didn't get time to do my swim because they, they did the thing where they talk to us and tell us what's about to happen. I've forgotten that word. My brain's really struggling with words lately. Hoping that's not an issue or a thing. It's just a really... I, I have no idea what's happening, honestly. Oh, my brain is so cooked and fried. I can't remember names of people, places, things. And it's really almost starting to scare me a little bit. But body's working pretty much fine until the last half of a run. So I think I'm sweet. I just don't put my head underwater for too long anymore. Yeah, I got down. No swim warm-up. And was like, oh, well, I just did all my, my shoulder rotations, got them ready to go. I jumped in. Didn't lose too much time, but I remember I could, as I was breathing and sighting where everyone else was as they came past me, there was honestly the whole pack were just in a line. And I was like, wow, okay. I wasn't too far behind. I thought I was a fair way, but when I came out of transition, I realized I was at most 10 seconds behind the front guys. Eric! we're on unfortunately it took two clips to get my belt buckle in from my helmet um, just one of those things two seconds in transition is such a killer it would have been a bit closer to the pack would have helped a lot um, someone fell off in front of me on the, the u-turn at the back of the course lost a couple seconds slowly going around him didn't get on the back Lockie wasn't having a great ride hopefully he has a great ride tomorrow and I'm able to sit on his wheel yeah I felt really confident with the corners with everything on the ride got onto the run uh, I ran off with Lockie and I was like yes yeah, sweet let's go son because I know Lockie's a great runner um, I saw him having trouble un unable to open up his his dry suit at the back so I pulled that down for him and I felt really good so I just kind of went and then a couple hundred meters later <laughs> legs fell off absolute blow up, holding back, throwing up. And then I was just cooked. My legs were so heavy. It honestly felt like I was running with a 20 kilo backpack on. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen tomorrow. It's a little bit shorter tomorrow again. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know how it goes after that. Alrighty, um, welcome to the second half of my race report. Uh, it's the day after, so currently Monday afternoon. And I'm sitting in my car at the beach because I don't have a house <laughs> or anywhere to live. <laughs> um, so yeah, today I <coughs> I moved out. Um, at least runs out next started next week, but today was the only day I have to actually move out. Um, just because training, work, and everything like that. So hoping to find somewhere to live very quickly. Um, currently camping at my parents and having to drive all the way back up the coast daily to train and work and train others so it's not ideal independence isn't there as much and yeah so I'm currently homeless and I'm in my car um, but we'll get back into the race so only a couple hours turnaround from the Arbo race into the morning race I woke up feeling pretty good 
nice little 6 a.m. sleep in, woke up, did my shower, got everything ready, rolled out, had my cliff bar on the way, covered in peanut butter, about a 50 50 ratio of peanut butter to cliff bar. So I had some cliff bar with my peanut butter, it felt pretty good. Uh, yeah, got to the race, did a, a couple quick laps of the bike course, just being a short bike course. I just went one full lap. And then two laps of the technical sections, um, just all the cornery stuff. Felt really good. Uh, then did my altitude preparation simulation, run drills, swim warm up. Everything felt pretty good. My legs were a little bit heavy, uh, but I found some good, good speed on my legs during my altitude simulation. So I was pretty confident going into that. And the first race was a handicapped race. So I got the timing wrong um, in the guesstimation. I think I've mentioned if I keep it in this race report that I was starting 27 seconds but that's how far I was in front of the guy and they did some algorithm to work out well they just basically went two thirds because they they took a third of the race off to make it a bit more even and then yeah uh, I was like fourth person to go so they just came up and literally just tap you on the shoulder they go go and that's when you, when you go, so it's nice and simple like that. And then, yeah, I, I went off. I like a good handicap like that, so that was great. And then came out of the water. Third, I think, ran into second on running onto the bike. Caught first at the end of the bike, and um, Lockie caught just caught onto me in transition um, because he did have his not great race yesterday on the bike. It actually advantaged him quite a lot today, uh, Sunday. Um, onto onto the bike, not having to start so far behind. So yeah, uh, transition didn't go to plan very well as the bike fell on me. So and I, was I, as I when I racked it, um, somehow it didn't rack properly, and the bike fell over onto me. Had to re-stand it up, put my shoes on, take my helmet off, all that stuff. And Lucky had a great transition and got out in front of me. Uh, just a couple seconds, but a couple seconds over one kilometer is far enough. I uh, spent the time just slowly catching up to him, got within maybe 10 meters. Okay. Come on, Travis. It's up to you, you can see in the video how close I got. Uh, and then a good, good old sprint finish to the line. Well done, boys. Literally about me to the camera away from first place. So I was like, yeah, sweet. That'll give me prime time um, and prime results because it was going off your time and placing uh, point-wise of the first and second race. Um, so I was like, yeah, sweet. I've had like a perfect first race. This is great. Set me up. Uh, I went out, just did maybe like 15, 20 minutes spin on the bike, went out to the crit track had the Yui Boom blasting some tunes, so just just chilling out, enjoying some music, flushing the legs over, keeping the vibes good, um, without doing any, I didn't want to run warm down just because it's more impactful on the legs, my calves are being quite tight, but they handled the weekend well, they're feeling really good now, so that's great, feeling great. Um, came back in, did my altitude preparation simulation, did my swim warm up, went to get transition ready, and found out that something happened with the timing end of the race and it now does not count towards anything. So I got second by less than half a, less than a second, probably less than half a second, and it means nothing. And we're just going an all in flat stick race for the, for the final points. And I was like, right. But I guess luckily for them, 
and the the A final athletes. We were the B final, and I'm just so honoured and glad that that we were able to race and and have a race for the the best of the rest and uh, still a super quality field and the best of the rest. I was just having fun being able to mix it up in amongst them. So then we got started into the the race number three. So the second race of Sunday morning. Um, legs are a little bit tired and heavy, but not too bad. I felt pretty confident and good. I'd had my Cliff Protein Bar straight after the race before. I had a Cliff Mocha Gel straight before this race. So I was like, yeah, I'm loaded up. I'm ready to go. Let's hit it. Uh, swim was pretty okay. I I came out towards mid-ish pack, towards the back of the pack, actually. I came out with the back of the mid pack, if that makes sense. So it was like a couple up the road and then the mid pack and I was towards the back of that pack. I got onto the bike and just had so much fun actually riding with other people and not on my own all day. So that was great. I was able to um, just use my knowledge, skill and ability through the corners to make up some quick time and um, spots at the start of the lap. Uh, I got caught behind one guy who fell off yesterday, so his cornering was quite uh, not sharp. Just that lack of confidence after falling off like the day before. Yeah, you could, you could tell. Um, tried to cut past him, but it just wasn't safe enough. I had to wait till the straight. Put a sprint on, got back into the back of the next pack. Work it, Travis. I uh, walked, went through the, the safer sections of the course, up and around, and then came through the technical section for the second lap, just two laps on Sunday, three laps on Saturday. And then, yeah, did my thing again where I came, this is this left up the hill, and everyone else was going tight up the hill, so it was less distance, but they had to slow down for it, whereas I just went flat stick into the corner, knowing that we had plenty of width around the corner to go so I'd, I just sent it full steam um, overtook two of them and then I just cut in and just cut old mate off just used my aggression and just absolute lack of care for their race um, we're all racing here if I'm on the inside I either get chopped off or I hold my spot and they just move out because i got nowhere to move if I'm on the inside of the corner so I go outside then I'm on the inside line sweet as make some positions cut through that Went out on the long straight bit. The long straight is like 200 meters. <laughs> out to the U-turn. Got myself onto the front of, this, of the chase pack. I think there was two or three up the road, maybe. There wasn't many. But yeah, I got, got onto the front of the chase pack. I was like, yes, how sick is this? I'm in with the boys. Back wheel slides out, kicks out, throws me on an angle, kicks my shoes out of the pedals somehow without me realizing. I'm sitting there, legs out, just like stunned my heart, like, oh shit, like I just, I, th I have no idea what happened. Something clicked, I think um, I was on the wall of the, the tire and it's just skipped. The weight's just gone, boom, it's all gone out from underneath me. I felt myself go down, but somehow I was able to keep the weight centered over the front wheel. Caught it, came back up, kept going straight on, and then ended up on the grass because of all this shenanigans. Um, feet weren't clipped in didn't realise they weren't clipped in and went to pedal and like lost my balance because there was nothing to grip and everyone I just worked to pass over the entire bike course got to sit on me and got to get, then go past so I just lost like four spots at least on that had to sprint so hard on that 300 metre straight a couple little corners coming back in ran into transition just off the back of the pack Oh, that's all. 
Pretty good transition. Um, came out and just held that spot on the run. Well done, Trav. Stay up, buddy. There is absolutely no timing or res there's results for that last race for the B final. No time or results for the handicap start race for the B final and no time for the final race for us. Um, which is a shame. I'd love to know my time splits, compare them, see how I felt, see what the body was at. But that's this is what it, what it is and it was a great weekend super grateful for triathlon australia and events gold coast and everyone else who was involved in getting these events happening all the other athletes competitors spectators sponsors coaches supporters everyone every single person that's involved in any level so so unbelievably grateful as well as all my sponsors and supporters and family and friends so we've got six weeks till the next race so i'm putting in a big block of training while camping at my parents um we'll see how we go it's definitely gonna be motivated currently looking for a house so if this goes up and um there's some cool vegans out there that have a room for Michaela and I that we can come move in with you guys and share life with and you're, you're some cool people and clean and don't have any hectic pets hit me up we're keen to not have to live at my parents anymore um but yeah i'll probably see you guys back after byron try on the 8th of may <laughs>